Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about why I started planning. In my senior year of high school, I realized that I needed something to write down all of my assignments and homework and everything that I needed to do after I got home from school. So I decided that I needed something that would be possible for me to carry it around and always have it with me to make sure I get things done because if I did not write those things down, I knew I would forget them. In past years, I actually toted around a very small, I think a half inch notebook that had papers in it and all I would do was write the class that I had and then up under the I up under that I would do bullet points that had all the assignments that I had to do for that day for that specific class and after a while it just got to be too much I was wasting paper every day over little bitty things so I needed something that I could just write everything in so that's why my senior year I created my own planner by myself on the computer and it sounds kind of funny but I knew I needed something that would work for me and would be specific to my needs because I knew if I just went to the store and pulled a planner off the shelf I knew I wouldn't be able to use it like I needed to that it would not have the right things that I needed for school so that's why I came up with my own planner and here is my very first planner. As you can tell, it's just a very simple, very thin notebook. It's got this little binding, I don't know what this is called, but I think this is some kind of binding thing that my mom had. So we, I created my planner and on the inside. It has all of the classes that I had in every day of the week. Um, but I created it and then printed it out and put it all in this book and put like a really thin plastic cover on it and it's got some kind of paper backing so it it was very thin and it was actually quite manageable walking around school every day it was you know with it being thin it was easier to carry around especially with a lot of binders that I had and so then after my senior year, I knew, that, I knew I needed something else for college, but because I didn't know my schedule yet for college, I couldn't really create my own planner yet. So I tried creating my own that would work without knowing a schedule, but it really didn't work out and I didn't like it. So then somehow I found bullet journaling and I actually got a little book I don't have it with me I don't know where it is um, but I got a little bullet journaling book that had dot grid paper in it and I started creating spreads and it took probably two weeks to actually create everything that I needed in that book as far as like a planning spread went and I tried using it a little bit and it just didn't work so I, I really needed something else and I searched and searched and searched Pinterest, YouTube, all sorts of stuff like that. And then I came across the Happy Planner and I immediately fell in love. I knew I needed it and I wanted it and I needed all of the stickers that were included. So for Christmas this past year, I got a planner kit. It wasn't an actual Happy Planner name brand kit, but the book is disc bound and it had all these pins and highlighters and even some stickers. So I was like, I really want this for Christmas. I need this. I need this for school and everything. So we, I got it for Christmas and this is it and sorry for the glare, but if you can read it, it just says hello lovely which I thought was pretty cute and it's got gold discs 
and it, I mean it is deuce bound and here's the pack so I got this and I struggled at first with trying to do planning like I wanted to have the really pretty spreads like everybody else did and so I tried and I used washi washi was my number one thing that I used I still use it honestly so I really didn't decorate much with stickers I did a little bit but it wasn't that great and I just wasn't really happy with it but I still over time I've actually gotten better with it and I'm I'm getting a lot prouder of my spreads but I think that's what everybody goes through when they first when they get their first happy planner they go through a learning period and they try their best and they're like well why doesn't my stuff match theirs or why can't my stuff be as good as theirs but that doesn't matter you don't need to worry about what everybody else's spreads look like because your first spread is not going to look like everybody else's and it's it's just one of those things that you just, you just have to learn to do and go through so I got the planner for Christmas and when school started in January I tried to use it for school and because in this specific one that I have is a classic size planner so the boxes are smaller than what I was used to in my first planner because the first planner was actually eight inch by eleven and a half I think printer paper size um, so it wasn't that great for me to use it for school because I had I think four classes and I wanted to split up my boxes to where it would work and it just it really just became a big mess it was so messy and ugly and I was like I do not like this so then I was like I need something else and I need something bigger but I love the happy planner products so I found one and here it is it's it says on it this is your year in gold foil and then it's rainbow so I think it's really pretty and the back is like that as well if you can see it so I found this and it was actually a big happy a big sized happy planner so I was like I need this planner so I got it and I arranged my boxes well I didn't really arrange them I kind of broke them up um, so I kind of separated the boxes to where I would have enough space for all of my classes and I started writing in it and I loved it and it's so far it's been one of my favorite planners I really don't decorate as much as I do in my classic in the big planner because it's more so for function and I need it more so for school and not to be extremely pretty I have put a few stickers here and there but I don't decorate it like I do my regular spreads in my catch-all planner so that is how I started planning and if you like this video please hit the like button and if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button